Hi, well, I thought I'd uh, go ahead. Oh, watch when I'm going. Maybe. Go ahead and turn on the camera as we drive out. And you can kind of see the end of the road here. <laughs> yeah, probably not a sedan road. A little rocky. It's not too bad until you get to this part. And we'll see when we get up there. If there's you any... can actually easily walk down from the gravel right. part. Yeah. Not like there's anywhere to park there, though, but... Yeah, that's what I was going to look to see if there's anywhere to park, actually, here. Yeah, you can see it's pretty rocky. I mean, I'm not a four-wheel driver or anything, but you definitely want to have some high clearance here. And there's a little pull-offs maybe you could pull off maybe. and be out of the Oh, way. yeah, maybe this spot right there. Yeah, and there's one up there. Yeah. It's not that far in either off the road, so you could park out there. This is this is National Monument, Camp Boondock, but it's surrounded by Navajo Reservation, so you can't boondock on the reservation. Now, when we go to our next location, which is south, south, no, north of here, that a lot of that is BLM and you can boondock. In fact, uh, you can boondock the Canyon of the Ancients is the main area around here that's all BLM and you can boondock anywhere in that. It's just the National Monument here, Hoven Weep, which is in Canyon of the Ancients, technically. Uh, you can't boondock, that's, uh, you know, strange stuff, but there's a lot of BLM where we're driving here next on our way. We're gonna go to Lowry, Lowry. I don't know. Pueblo. I cannot. I am having Lowry a Pueblo. hard time speaking today. So anyway, we're off there, and we'll uh, see you when we get there. All right. Well, good morning. Uh, you may remember when we last left you, we were at uh, Angel's Peak in New Mexico, and we had a development that evening. Somebody. <laughs> somebody discovered remember how windy it was there somebody discovered that they had left their vest with all their keys in a restaurant back in cuba when we ate in cuba so we had to drive about 70 something miles maybe 80 miles back to cuba and then we drove up here so we got up before well right at dawn actually and um, drove to cuba and got Carol's keys, somebody. But we are here at Hoven Weep, and let me show you. This is pretty, this is gonna be a cool video, I think. Uh, a lot of great stuff here. Like I said, it's Hoven Weep National Monument, and we are at the Cajon Ruins. Now, it's interesting. I'd been here several times before I ever knew these existed, because they're not really attached, and they're not really plainly marked on the maps. So, man, look at all these flowers. We noticed uh, when we drove up, just a lot of bloom. So maybe they got a lot of rain the other night. Was like when we were at Angel's Peak, we had rain all around us. But yeah, you can see the ruins out here. We'll get closer, obviously. Okay, so. Somebody there wants to be talking while I'm out here, but one of the cool things you'll find is these towers. And this isn't a great angle, but see it here. It's actually down into the wash here. So I'm not really sure exactly what the function of that would have been. We're gonna walk around. They do have these blocked off. You can't walk into them. And Mr. Raven up there. Yeah, it's really cool. I like call this flat sandstone. Well, it's not really flat, but pocked with the little water pockets and stuff. Standing here on the edge, there is actually some ruins right below me underneath the ledge here. We'll see that when we get around the other side. It's great, isn't it? I've always liked these kinds of forms, just here in the sandstone. Some other sort of rock, maybe with some iron in it, because it's kind of more reddish. So here, 
You can see underneath the ledge, got a ruin right there in the doorway here. Let me zoom this in. You can see underneath there, the doorway in the back, right in the middle, upper middle. And so this is a pretty large building right here. We just kind of came around. You can see across the way that we couldn't walk out to them. They had the area closed, but there's some buildings over there and some that would have been on the top on the other side. And if we look down here, I see a big nest right uh, in the center of the frame under the lip. So the Native Americans building their housing under the lip wouldn't be a bad idea if the birds do it. You can see the two structures, another structure wall there right in the center. And then there is a wall. So right there underneath, all the way at the bottom, kind of bottom center, above the bushes, you can see a wall underneath the cliff there. And it looks like it kind of came around all the way. Kind of interesting, isn't it? And we got another structure right here down below the, the building we just walked around. So just some perspective. It's interesting, and I don't know if we're gonna end up going out to this one ruins or not called Holly Ruins, but the stonework is a lot different than it is here. And the Pueblo there is known for its rock work or those people that built it. So taking a look inside here, looks like we have a passageway that's been closed off, possibly by the park service. So there actually is a, um, a kind of a main ruins trail right out of the visitor center at Hovenweep. Um, we're probably not gonna do that. Carol's got some foot issues uh, and uh, we're gonna try to hit a few other places, but you go through a lot of ruins and kind of like this, they're all cordoned off. And when I, when I first came here back in, uh, I believe it was around 83, um, they didn't, it was all dirt roads and it wasn't cordoned off and you could go into the ruins. In fact, uh, I was carrying, at that time I was just photographing, carrying my tripod and my big camera and stuff and big thunderstorm came and hit out with a young couple in a, in one of the ruins <laughs> rooms through the, the rainstorm. But all that's changed. You can't do that kind of stuff anymore. But I would like recommend if you came here just doing the main uh, tour because there's a lot of the, I don't know how many ruins, there's several ruins around the wash that's right underneath the visitor center. So it's not a terrible, terribly long hike. It's not terribly difficult um, and it's well worth it. And then if you have the time then like this one, if you can find it, uh, I don't know, I'll give a GPS to it because it's, it's known, it's not like it's unmarked, but uh, it only has small little signs though when you get here, literally just like a bird with an arrow and, and it's maybe only six inches square. It's not like a big sign saying, you know, go this way and then it's up a dirt road and it's kind of rough at the end. But uh, yeah, let's get back and look. Yeah, and if I didn't finish that thought, there's a lot of other ruins um, on the outskirts of the park as well. So, or the monument, I guess, so yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Almost silhouette with that bright sky back there. And then here's another view. We'll take a look at the ruins across the way that we can't walk out to. But you can see all the tumbled rocks there down to the left of that big structure and underneath the other. That's all used to be Pueblo. And we move over here. All these piles of rocks up there. That's all Pueblo walls used to be. All these rocks going down were part of Pueblo walls. So there is a cement trough there you can see, obviously not from the time period, but right below it here in the center, there's a bit of a rock wall and it probably was some sort of a dam. So they would have standing water here. And here, look how, look how beautiful that is out there. Very green uh, this year. Not always when we get here. It's a lot cooler 
and very green. So it's all of a sudden gotten extremely windy here, but I noticed that you can sort of see in this room here, try to get as good as I can. Yeah, actually, uh, we tried to drive out here yesterday, so we'd have at least something from yesterday. <laughs> Essentially, the, the wind was so bad and the dust, we just, we couldn't even see the road at times. So uh, we decided to turn around and not try to get out here. Oh man, so it's starting to get windy again. Hopefully uh, it won't impede us getting to some other sites today. And this is uh, the Cajon Ruins area. Cajon, C-A-J-O-N, like Cajon Pass in California. Boy, 